She couldn't tell that it wasn't a part of my body. It felt so natural. I did have the pleasure of giving it a try the first time. Right after I did the unboxing review, I pretty much uh, got to using it. <laughs> So first off, I want to start by saying that this product beats any other product that I've had the pleasure of testing out. The realistic traits of it are just top notch, nothing compares. This is the one I got. Again, it's the medium brown and it is the basic prosthetic that they have. It is fully functioning, meaning that it can be used to pee, it can be used to pack, and it can be used for intimacy. And I'm going to just run through each one of those and tell you my experience with it. Uh, first, we'll start with packing. For packing, again, this is a six inch packing boxer. Packing boxers. <laughs> because you don't need any type of packing boxers, definitely 10 out of 10 for that. Peeing. So overall, peeing with this, again, is great because it is cured to your body all the way around from the back to the front. So it is very hard to have a spill. Um, the only way you do have a spill, and I did ha have a spill one time, you have to control your stream because if you're just like full force, just peeing as hard as you can, TMI, sorry. Um, if you're not controlling the flow of it, then you have to realize that this is only going to hold so much. So if there's nowhere for it to go, obviously it's going to leak out the sides. But aside from that, it really doesn't give you any issues because this whole entire part is secured to your anatomy and your body. And it sits so perfectly that the stream is automatically directed right down the shaft and out so i would say honestly like a 9 out of 10 for stp use and it has been the best type of stp product that i've had the pleasure of using as for intimacy uh this is probably a lot of you guys's uh main question and i did have the pleasure of giving it a try the first time I pretty much opened the box right after I did the or right after I did the unboxing review. I pretty much uh, got to using it for playing. It definitely is the best that I've personally used. Usually, prosthetics that are used for intimacy require some type of strap, like a harness or boxers. Again, but because this sits just naturally on your body from the adhesive it really does not give you any issues for like moving around or falling out of place because it's cured to your body and it's not going anywhere that is one thing where the second that i did figure out how to cure it to my body i like immediately went to my girlfriend and was like yo like for real this is not going anywhere i could do jumping jacks push-ups like i could do anything this is not going anywhere also a really cool thing Again, since your growth goes right here, I'll use my finger as an example. When you're having intercourse, pretty much your anatomy sits right here. And as you guys know, uh, for my trans guys, when you're aroused, your anatomy growth does grow with it. So as it kind of grows in here, when you're penetrating your partner, you got to realize your growth is pretty much in here. So anything you're feeling from having intercourse with your partner, you're going to feel it on your growth. And as you can see, my finger is stuck. So instead of my finger, just imagine your growth. And that's pretty much what it does. It gets stuck and it suctions in there and it gives you sensation, which most cases, uh, prosthetics and strap-ons and stuff, they don't give you any sensation. You don't really feel anything. As for my partner, she told me that literally she could not even tell. She couldn't tell that it wasn't a part of my body. It felt so natural. And because of the texture of it and how soft it is, it felt like real skin. So she thought it was a 10 out of 10. I thought it was a 10 out of 10. Um, 
if there was one thing that I noticed is you do slip out kind of more often than a more stiff prosthetic, but it's because of how natural it is. And even for cis guys, they're slipping out all the time and you just kind of have to slip her back in and continue what you're doing. So I also wanted to give you guys a comparison to another type of prosthetic that I have and have used in the past. So again, we have the S1000 Basic 6 inch, and then we have the Real Magic. I think this is like a four inch, and this is not for pleasure. It is strictly for packing and STP use. So that already in itself, it only gives you two functions. This one gives you three. And then this one, the way that it cures to your body because this one also requires like an adhesive glue or something um the reason i don't really like this one is because right here that's the only place the glue goes whereas for this one the glue goes all throughout here and really secures to every ounce of your anatomy that you could possibly <laughs> like glue it to so this one it's only attached to like your pubic area where the uh, pubic hair grows. So it's only hanging on by this part. This, literally, all of it is attached completely and it's not going anywhere. Uh, next, uh, this one does also have a lip so it is nice in that aspect because it catches anything that may drip past where it should be dripping. But this one, for the features, it's realistic, but it's so stiff, you can just tell that it's not real. And for this one, it has movable balls, which is very, very new to me, because I've never had a prosthetic where it had like movable skin. And then this one literally just looks like a cup and makes it very uncomfortable when packing because you have to think when you're sitting or even standing and your legs start chafing, you have this big thing just like in your way. And I feel like it's because they were trying to focus so much on the peeing and like making sure there's a nice cup that'll fill a decent amount, but it just overtakes the entire STP. Whereas this one, it's more like flimsy, which to me is a good thing because you can work with it when you're walking. It's not gonna be so stiff and pushing against your body. Like it, it's just more free. And this one, when it sits on your body, it always looks like you have a boner because this, unless you're wearing super tight clothes, it doesn't stay like this, it pokes out. So this one, when this one's on your body and cured to your body, it naturally just hangs like that anyway, so it doesn't poke out as much. So I, again, I like this one much better. As for price, the S1000 Basic runs you about $550. And then this one, I'm pretty sure it was around the same exact price. But between the two, this one is much more worth it. And... This one has more options to do like customizations. This one, not so much. Um, this one's about two years old though, so they may have changed the way they make them. But last I checked, it's still relatively the same. As for this one, it's just got a lot more to it. It's a lot more stretchy. This one, super, super stiff. And I don't think it was worth the 500 and something dollars, but Neither one of them are cheap. I'm not gonna lie and tell you they're cheap because they're definitely not the most affordable. But for my girlfriend's hair is like everywhere. It's always on my body. Now it's on the freaking penis. Like what the heck? But um, yeah, neither one of them are cheap. I'm not gonna lie. But when it comes to prosthetics, at least for me, I want something that's going to last a long time. I want something that I'm not gonna have for three days and then be like, oh, I don't like it. I want something different because it's not realistic enough. If you just go big and buy one that is like actually worth it, for example, this one, and one that is, um, that's good quality, 
then you, yeah, you're paying a lot, but it's only one time. I made the mistake of buying one or buying like 10 that were super cheap because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I realized I ended up buying so many because they just were not doing what I needed it to do. They weren't giving what they needed to give. So in my eyes, go with the better priced one because usually if it's better priced, it's gonna be better quality and it's gonna last you a lot longer and it's gonna be worth your buck. So yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.